Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus where I will take a, as I said last time I take a quick look inside this airplane and then we are gonna head back to our wonderful little train Oh, poor boy. I feel so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... ourselves at home here now since we're alive the bridge seems like a nice place at least it's not going to get flooded we might end up going to Moscow by rail later well we'll have to live and see about that all right okay we this is gonna be a tough part for me too all the upgrade stuff actually Okay, we should be able to see the train from here. At least I already see the train tracks. And there's a large flying monster, ain't that nice? Okay, thank you for your upgrade stuff. And then, s I'm sorry, I'm sometimes um, getting, or I'm sometimes here m more, um, less talkative um, or more quiet than usually. Um, this is just sometimes the atmosphere and um, especially at beginnings of You're games. Alive. Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Artyom Thank you. My desk and your wife you is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. Artyom. Come over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now, but still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. 
They probably get us into key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Yep, alright. Um, let's actually see. May I, buddy? How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I can, I can. I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Will do. Okay, I was hoping for a workbench, but... Then, since we haven't seen any action now, we have a normal weapon. And then... We have... Wait, 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 I need to... And we even have a red dot with this one. That ain't nice. That... That is nice, right? And we need to... Get somewhere, somehow, down here. We would... We could cross by boat, but we have a um, way here, right? And yes, I've seen... Not sure if that was actually worth. But I do not. Why? Ah. Okay, one thing is for sure, our normal weapons do more damage, right? But, no more ammunition remaining. We are gonna use the normal weapons, which it feels like. I can only say it feels like. I do obviously not now, yet, but they feel more powerful.
I always want to loot the enemies. I'm sorry. I'm just coming from the gothic stream. <laughs> and this is still in me. That came out of nowhere. Holy moly. I didn't expect this game to be horrifying. So, expect enemies to be everywhere and zombies there and attacking you when you do not expect it. Nice learning, but finally I know. And yes, I should look to the map where to go. I'll do that in a second. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, we need to get into this direction. Good, good, good. So this is just... How stupid can someone be? But we at least know that there are no enemies around here. There's some place we can loot, like there. And then I'm gonna take the... So, jumping down will not precisely always kill you. But obviously, um, drains your HP very, very, very quickly. What the? Everything here in this world tends to kill you, man. Kick the store open. There could be something coming from the right. And there was a dude saying these damned things, right? Okay, we are a little bit low on ammunition. We are a little bit low on everything. So um, this is then, first of all, going to be the end. I need to precisely aim. This is something I gotta need to do. Let's see in the off what I can craft, and then we are gonna take a look for. Alright, and that you guys, right now I see him up there, brings us to the end of this episode. Um, 
and as usual i really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this little episode then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you and i should craft ammunition the next episode until then have a wonderful day stay frosty bye